and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. For a new deck, we're going to be playing some Fizz of the Dragon. We got Fizz combining with Ionia, and we have like Claws of the Dragon, Eye of the Dragon, and I just kind of decided to name this Fizz of the Dragon. So yeah, we're actually playing an Ionia deck again. Um, I don't know the last time we played an Ionia deck. It's been, it's been a while. Um, Ionia has really been nerfed a lot with Shadow Assassin and Will of Ionia being nerfed. There's really not any reason to, you know, there's not too much reasons to play Ionia, unfortunately. It, I don't like that they have like one one region much worse than the others. Like it has like the worst champions, the worst units, and now their spells are getting nerfed and everything too. But um, we're we're playing a deck here, so that I'm I'm excited to play Ionia um, because there's basically nobody playing Ionia anymore and no Will of Ionia around, then we're seeing a ton of huge um, units be really popular. Like there's tons of Leviathans, for example, running around and lots of Nautilus and things like that. And so maybe us having Will of Ionia could be a big, um, you know, like a, a big help on uh, being able to interact where other people aren't. But of course, we're going to be a Fizz deck where we're going to be trying to level up Fizz and also make Fizz larger with like our pocket aces and get the elusive on with that. There's really not very many elusives around in the format anymore with Shadow Assassin not being uh, really not being playable. Um, but we're going to have, you know, we're going to have some. We're going to have Zap Sprayfin also. And of course, Twisted Fate with our different card draw, our deep meditations to get a lot of cards. Um, you know, this is going to be a pretty fun deck to play. So we're going to have Fizz of the Dragon. All right, so let's go play five games over in Ranked, and let's see how we do. Playing Ionia again. The last couple times I've played Ionia, it's just been, you know, like playing Shen and basically a Demacia deck that has Shen in it, which isn't really like an Ionia deck. This is actually going to feel like an Ionia deck, and I like that. You know, we'll actually have our, our spells and our Spells Matter cards. Hopefully it works out. Okay, we're going to keep Sprayfin and Mulligan the rest. So we're playing against Casino. Do we want turn one Fizz against Casino? Do we want turn one Fizz against Casino? I guess so. Hello. card over there. It's good news so our Fizz can just get on in. Oh, this is going to be an opponent that's just going to take forever on everything, isn't it? I don't like I don't like these matches whenever people just take forever. This is a real spin to win. Optimal outcome achieved. Hey Zap, the hand can't say no to Fizz. Morning shot's perfect. A great card to draw. I'm feeling lucky. That's a spicy find. Good protection there. So 
So if I play Warning Shot here, <clears throat> then I will have the two spells for three mana deep meditations. And I think I, I think I do need that. I think I need three mana deep meditation, not five mana. Searching for some winners. Something up my sleeve. Hmm. No fear. All right, that slot bot's gonna get really big. So we're gonna take down this slot bot while we can. Perfect, got another warning shot. That works out. That is two spells again. So which one am I giving the plus two, plus one to? If I just give it to Fizz, they can just challenge Fizz with the four two next turn. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. So maybe I give it here. Levels up my fizz so it doesn't die to the red card. I'm a people person. I'm coming in. All right, we gotta try to not die. damage. Trying to not die. Oh, all these suit-ups. 10 damage. So one little damage kills us. Deep meditation can't really draw like deny or anything like that. I don't think Sprayfin really draws anything either. Make it rain, I guess. That still doesn't kill them. Keep up, keep up. Good hand, GG's. Those suit ups were clutch. Three suit ups on the, you know, the just like the free things that they got, you know, that they just discarded and got into play for free.
Pretty key. Of course, that Brash Gambler was also just really important at the 4 mana 4 5 of drawing them so many cards. Uh, let's see. Pick a card is like a card that you don't really want early. It's a it's a late game card. Because early you just don't have the mana to deal with all the fleeting cards. So I have the Key Guardian plus Claws of the Dragon combo if I find another spell to play alongside with it, which I don't. Pocket Aces is not that. I guess we're just playing Deep Meditation then. I'm not too big on Pocket Aces. Um, you know, I played a, a Twisted Fate Fizz deck with Freljord, and with Freljord not too long ago, and I did not play Pocket Aces, and I was really glad that I didn't have Pocket Aces in my, in my deck. Because I don't think it's too useful. All right, let's see. We're going to have... They're going to kill my Twisted Fate. I hope not. It's possible. Never lost but I think it's my best play. Basically, what I mean by that is is it only does one thing. Is It only you know costs a lot of mana for a plus two, plus one permanent buff on Fizz, and, but that's all it does. Now, that's like with Freljord. Well, Freljord has a lot of other pump spells. You know, like it has Fury of the North and Battle Fury and all sorts of stuff. Um... You know, Ionia is not really, not really going with the pump spells. So, with that being said, I think that Pocket Aces is probably better in this deck with Ionia. My plan is one pocket aces and attack for four, I think. And next turn we can survive, surprise him with key guardian on the claws of the dragon and then pocket aces. Oh, yes, yes, Ionia is the weakest region by a mile. They, they've they always done a really good job of having all the regions balanced, but whenever they nerfed Shadow Assassin and Will of Ionia, they just took away any, you know, like any reason to play Ionia. Ionia was already the, you know, was already arguably the, the weakest region before that, and then those, those nerfs, it's just... Like, the champions for Ionia are worse than any other region, region's champions. The the units, just your regular units, like, across the, the curve is worse than the, all the other regions. Even worse than PNZ now with the buffs to the PNZ uh, discard units. So it has the worst champions and the worst units. And all of the spells have just gotten nerfed. Like, basically all the spells, <laughs> they've all gotten nerfed. Alright, so they're wasting a lot more mana than us. That's good. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Deal me in. Alright, Jaw Hunters is gonna force my hand with the red card. That was a good good card to draw. That's a good red card. If they have another Jaw Hunters, we have Make It Rain. Yeah, 
Yeah, I was thinking that like right afterwards. I was thinking. I was thinking I probably should have key guardian into that. Is your favorite region? My Fizz is vulnerable right now, but they don't really know that. I was thinking, like, that's why I was okay playing the Key Guardian because they don't really know that because they, because I have this retreat that's fleeting that's right here that costs one mana. Darn! Now it's obvious that it is. I didn't counter that. Hey, <laughs> thanks, Super Nathan. Very kind of you. I didn't want to play Zap Sprayfin and then they play the elusive sea monster. So I wanted to go just straight to combat, hit them for a bunch with Fizz. We have the Make It Rain to protect Fizz. Um, and then next turn, with the leveled up Fizz hitting them, we have this Chum the Waters that can make the elusive sea monster vulnerable. That thing is a 10 8. That's kind of scary. That is pretty scary. Okay, Emru. Uh, the person that made this deck said they they try to make it more of like a twisted fate deck, so I didn't have as many cheap spells. Like twisted fate. So I have ten mana. I'm gonna just cast this. And now I'm gonna be going twisted fate gold card. Just done. And then I still have four mana Never lost a fair for a deny or like, for yeah, a spray fin yeah. or something. We play in bilge rules, son? I don't think I'm supposed to play spray fin. I think I'm because then I don't have fizz protected anymore. But well, they have two mana. It's not like they can kill fizz with two mana. Get him, Fizz. Should be good. There we go. Our hand is just filled with denies. Was it Fizz? Um. Hmm. 
I wonder... Okay, there was... There was pers somebody named Talizu that was in... Uh, or that, that donated for a deck through, um, through Streamlabs with a $10 deck donation. But the deck code they gave me, they're building a Spirit Blossom quest deck. The deck code in there is not a working deck code, so if that person's here in chat, or if they're watching later on, maybe I should have made a bigger announcement about it or something, but if that person hears this, I don't have a working deck code, I need one. What am I playing against? Okay, we're playing against Deep. We're gonna just mulligan it all and look for a new hand. Those are all supportive cards that we don't really need. Give me the stuff! Stuff make happy! <laughs> Where to trust? But yeah, that's what we're talking about, how it's just so, so much deep everywhere now. Like, it does feel like maybe we need to bring back Will of Ionia. Like, we should probably just. I can probably build like an. Maybe you should just build like an anti deep Will of Ionia deck. Yeah, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if they. Um, if they power up some of the Ionia cards. Because honestly, there's there's too many nerfs with Ionia, and it's it's just too weak, and I think they'll notice that because Never at least just the, the data that we have access to with Mobilitics has Ionia as just like an under 50% win rate for every single region, like any region combination with Ionia. They are nothing like me. Really? Can't really do anything about that. I mean, I can, I can do this, but then they can grasp the undying. I need one more mana for twin disciplines and deny. I'm gonna try it. Well, I tried. Beauty charms while claws take hold. Imagination is not experience, and instinct is no substitute for planning. Wish I had one more mana for that deny, that would have been great. What is gained when we return malevolence? Am I winning this game? It's not by just like passing and stuff. Am I gonna go Twisted Fate, pick a card? How am I actually winning this game?
deck in the eye. Bunch of four mana cards. Don't really know how I'm dealing with Maokai. Or how I'm winning this game. Figured that part out yet. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. So eleven mana. Stare at the abyss. It'll stare back. I got rid of that thing. Set the hooks. I'm going to be letting them draw a card with the Abyssal Eye. So that I can play this other Eye of the Dragon. That may be wrong. That probably is wrong. I'm going to play this other Deep Meditation, actually, that's going to go away. Darn. I think just my best chance of winning this game was leveling up Twisted Fates. That was my best chance. Because, um, I mean, they're still at 20. I gotta do 20 damage. <laughs> These cards don't do any damage. It's a problem when, when they play an elusive. How, how am I dealing 20 damage now? I'm not sure. So they're just one card away from deep, so it's about to be a 6-6. Six, six. not play anything. They want to get a sapling to block with? There's no permutation of us winning that game from there. It's one where we have to be a lot more ahead a lot earlier. Just like the, the previous game whenever we beat the deep deck. We had the, the Fizz be able to do a lot of damage. They didn't have the elusive at that point of the deck. That point of the game, there's no permutations of us winning. Um... We're going to keep the denies and uh, I guess Key Guardian. Pick a card is not necessarily bad either. Okay, so we got I have the Dragon to start it off. I think we're going to be saving the Key Guardian. I, just, I don't think there's any reason for us to use it yet. We each hold a world 
within. All right, the Eye of the Dragon Mirror. I thought you'd never ask. That's gonna be pretty good. I don't miss. That's gonna be pretty good. All right, so I want, um, just want Twisted Fate in play and I'm gonna try to start leveling up Twisted Fate. Probably not gonna work too well with an Ezreal right here, but that's kind of the plan. But it's probably not the best plan. Yeah, Winter Ezreal um, worked out pretty well. Lady Luck is smiling. Yeah, that did good. Plus two, plus one. Now we're just gonna deny. Um, but yeah, the, yeah, Winter Ezreal. The the Frostbite cards were awesome with Ezreal, and it was nice having like some some good bodies also with like the Starlet Seer and Braum and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I really liked the the Frostbite cards. Yep, yep, Zelia, yeah, I'll I'll add, add it there to the favorites list on YouTube. It'll be uploaded later tonight. It'll be like the, um, let's see, seven and a half hours is whenever that one's going to be uploaded. Clear your head, let your instinct speak. What is gained when you return malevolence? So, not exactly sure how we're going to be winning this. Doesn't really look like we will. Probably going to be casting this warning shot just to be a second spell again, so we get the draggling to be able to block. And then... Um, we'll also turn these deep meditations into being three mana again on this next turn. Firing. Breathe in, breathe out. Ezreal's at five. Okay, this could be useful. Not better to go eye of the dragon than double deep meditation. I fight with my spirit, not my Maybe fists. then play Fizz. Imagination is not experience, and instinct is no substitute for planning. What 
what is gained when you return malevolence. So we have a bunch of make it rains to go along with Twisted Fate. Fizz is exactly what we needed. Like, you know, Fizz is something that can, you know, get over these three twos and dragglings, and it's a hard thing to kill with removal spells. It's exactly the kind of card that we needed. was greedy of me getting that attack, getting that damage in, where I could have just let this be stunned and let them have a 3-2. And, um, and everything. Uh, Braum didn't contribute a lot, no. With the deck. No, I wouldn't say it contributed a lot. But yeah, it was a lot of damage. So that part is definitely good. I'm always up for a round or two. Who says I don't share? So obviously our, our biggest thing right now is that we're hoping that they don't have another, um, they don't have another, uh, Karma in hand, because, as we know, Inside of Ages with a leveled up Karma is a difficult thing to beat. All or nothing. It is time. Um, is Fiora better with Shen or with Ash? Good with both, honestly. Like, good with both Ash and Shen. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know if, like, really one's really better than the other. Basically, the same kind of thing. It'd, it'd be, you'd be playing, like, the same kind of deck. Um, yeah, kind of good either way, to be honest. This is two, puts them down to eight. I have the, the long tooth back in my hand. That's gonna level up Ezreal. So 
So I'm going to shuffle back Deny, because whenever you have a leveled up Karma, Deny now doesn't do anything anymore. We don't really need Deny, so we're going to go pick a card, get rid of Deny. It's kind of an awkward three cards to hit. No, they found another Karma. That's almost assuredly game over. I feel like our deck is just, you know, whenever we don't have early fizz, like that's like our, our way that we can win is with early fizz. Like if we don't have early fizz, we're just not going to be powerful enough compared to like these other decks, you know, like Deep and Karma Ezreal and this kind of stuff that, that these other things that our opponents are doing are just so much more powerful that if we don't have early fizz, we don't really have a chance to win. Unfortunately, these Ionia cards aren't helping us out with that. Um, so I kind of feel like we need to go find Fizz. I don't really see us, you know, I don't see us grinding down the deep deck with this Twisted Fate. Right? Like, we tried that the last time that we played against deep. It did not work. I don't, I don't really see these cards doing anything. I'm not one that usually plays Ezreal decks. I don't know as far as the what version is best. I definitely had much more success with that Winter Ezreal deck than I had any other Ezreal deck ever. I would I would be much more confident playing that than, than any other version. But um, I'm not one that's really had a lot of success with Ezreal. So don't really have... Um, don't really have a ton of experience there. And yeah, that makes sense, Darkcliff. Yeah, trying it with going with Ash with Freljord. I am prepared. Um, being better than Ionia, going with Ash over Shen for the Fiora deck. I like that. You got Brittle Steel and uh, both Brittle Steel and Elixir of Iron are amazing with Fiora. Spells cost so much mana. We can never play them. Hold it, partner. Maybe they don't have Maokai. Danger paid. Huh. Looks like trouble. They didn't have Maokai. Not really. I don't. I don't really know of a Katarina Hecarim deck. I don't think that's very popular. Stack in the odds. Uh... 
snapshot. Miss call. Want them to have those kind of cards. <laughs> we've cast three. All right, so we've played three pick a cards in these five games, and all three are one Riptide Rex was in. We just have one Riptide Rex. It was there in all three of them. Keep up, keep up. Okay, every single time. We'll see who feasts tonight. Seven five. I guess I'm gonna take seven. I wish Will of Ionia cost four mana. Why does it have to cost five mana? Such an unnecessary nerf. Such an unnecessary nerf. Yeah, it's a seven out of eight twisted fate. This should really cost four mana. So that whenever the day whenever we did the review for that patch, I was much against that nerf. All right, let's put that back in their hand. To, I wanted to play this first, so in case I needed to play Will of Ionia, I still had you know I had the mana for Will of Ionia and both of these out there. Um, casting Chum the Waters does does give me Draglings, but I guess I only get one Dragling. Great against Nautilus. It costs so much mana, it doesn't let them play all those cheap things. Let's see. So I'm going to. If I cast Warning Shot right now, we get another Draggling. Uh, 
Um, but if I wait, I can give the Fizz elusive. I wish I could play Key Guardian, but we don't have anything in hand to actually cast Key Guardian. them down to five. I have five power of elusives. Hoping to get there. That was the worst thing to target. They should have targeted the 2-2. All right, GG's. And then, yeah, I was still, I was gonna do the five two, uh, chow, you know, get the seven four. The ocean wins again. All right. <laughs> yeah. So let's say, let's say they would have taken out the two two. The fist still would have hit him for three, and we would have gotten one extra point with that. So if they didn't have a fast speed spell, um, to stop the, the overwhelm on the, the four health, we would have gotten the extra one point of damage in there. So if they didn't have anything else, we still would have got there, even if they would have done the 2-2, two -two, but... Um, there we go, Fizz of the Dragon. We definitely saw that that's like our way to win here was with Fizz. Uh, that was definitely our, our most, most important thing to win, because winning with Twisted Fate in this kind of deck, honestly, is just going to be too slow, and it is not going to be impactful enough. Like, we don't have... Like with Twisted Fate Swain, you have Leviathan and Swain and things like that. Um, Twisted Fate Gangplank, you know, Gangplank can do a ton of damage, and you have a lot of spells that do damage and a bunch of Riptide Rex and things like that. This deck, we just... Our deck couldn't handle the, the slow games as much. We were basically a, a tempo deck trying to use Claws of the Dragon, Eye of the Dragon to, um, to chum up the ground where our Fizz can go with the elusives and uh, Fizz and Zap Sprayfin can get the job done. Um, I do like, so Will of Ionia is still a great card. I really wish this card cost four mana still, um, but it is still a great card as we saw against Nautilus. Um, and there's there is so much Nautilus around. So many people are playing deep that I wonder if because you saw how powerful it was, those two against Nautilus. It's just, it's like time walk. It takes their entire turn to play Nautilus, and then you bounce it, and it's going to take their entire next turn to replay it, and they're not able to do anything else. So I wonder if... I wonder if we could make, like, a, another aggro deck with Will of Ionia, and if that could be well-positioned. You know, like, if, you know, if it's just some kind of elusives, like the Noxus elusives or um, something like that. No, sh you know, no Shadow Assassin. In those decks, I don't think Shadow Assassin is too weak. Like one one power is just too weak. Even in the elusive decks, I would not play Shadow Assassin right now. But Will of Ionia is really well positioned, and so maybe with all these deep decks everywhere, um, maybe we could play some Will of Ionia again. I don't know. We'll have to see. But there we go. There's an Ionia deck. That's Fizz of the Dragon. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And uh, please leave those comments too. I would really appreciate that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.